Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Hawaiian beauty, Zavi. And how you say your last name? Zavi or Dani Silva. She's here to lend me her canvas to create this natural, no makeup, makeup look for you. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you again for everything. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first product I'm using is the Bite Lip Balm. This is a great lip balm to prep under makeup. They're pretty thick, which is really good for hydration. If someone who has more uh, drier lips, that's a great idea to prep it first, leave it there, and then you, you scrub it off after. The next product I'm using is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum from Ola Henderson. This is a very beautiful hydrating serum. It's really great for pigmentation, the skin look not too bright, a little dull. I think this is great. Oh, we just press the product into the skin. The next product I'm using is also the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm using everything with the Banana Bright Vitamin C product today from Ole Henderson. I think they're a great series for people who have high pigmentation and need some brightness on the skin. When I say brightening, it doesn't mean that you whitening the skin. That's a two different thing. Brightening, you just want the skin to look radiant, brightness, but nothing to do with lighting up the skin color. The next product I'm using is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. It is a very beautiful moisturizer. It's very rich, but I'm gonna use it to massage in the skin first. And anything extra, I can always just blot it off with the tissues. But for skin, a little dry, I think it's great to leave it on and just really work the moisture on the skin. Normally, I always use quite a bit of moisturizer, get the skin really hydrated and plump. And then any extra excess moisture, I would do a tissue and I blot it out. I think this way, the skin is really hydrated, get all the moisture that I need before I apply foundation. When the skin is not enough hydration, I feel that the foundation doesn't go as well and you can see all the dry skin kind of flake off. This way, the skin is really smooth for you to apply the foundation on. For foundation and concealer today, I'm using the Tinted Moisturizer from Rare Beauty and the Concealer Stick from Clé de Peau. For the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, it has SPF 26. It's light to medium, buildable coverage. If you want very natural, you just apply a little bit. For me, it's almost like a foundation and it's, it's have really nice blurring texture, very hydrated for someone who want the skin feel like skin. Zavi's skin is very beautiful. I love all the freckles. She have a great texture. She have only a few little breaks out right here, but I don't want to look at these and then put on a heavy foundation all over the face. That's what people would normally do if the model have like a, a few little pimple and they start put so much foundation on, which you shouldn't. Leave the skin everything fresh, 
That's why I use the Claypool concealer. It's a little thicker. That's when you spot treatment, all the little one and the rest of them, you just leave the skin very natural. The best way, just use a tinted moisturizer. Use a little bit everywhere. I purposely use the shade a tiny bit warmer because I want her skin have a little color. And you see, pretty much that's all I'm gonna use. And I just use this type of brush and it's easy to blend. This is a great foundation brush or any kind of complexion. You use this brush, you get really sheer coverage or you want fuller coverage, you tip in like this. You see that I put really little, just give her a really nice, sheer, even coverage first. And then I just go back with a concealer, just do spot treatment. You see, I do a very sheer cover with a tinted moisturizer. It does have a blurring effect. It's great. And I don't need to add any more on top here. On the bottom, if I want a bit more coverage, I just do tip one like this because that's where I want to cover some of the acne. But because the shade is blended so well that you don't want to see that like I put too much in one area and not enough the other area. You can see that's how you're going to do it for the area that you want to cover more. But the rest, just leave the skin really fresh. And this is, brush is great to do this kind of application. Next, I'm going to use the stick concealer. The color I'm using is almond. A pinpoint concealer like this. And you see, I just go one by one so if you want really natural skin but someone who have acne this is a perfect way to do instead to do the whole face with like a heavy foundation just use a tinted moisturizer because she doesn't need anywhere else she just needs to cover where you need to cover and you see it on top i just put a little bit like that and i just blend it out And I know the look I'm trying to do today is really just a five minute makeup. But if you don't have flawless skin to start with, you still can have that makeup look. You just need to spend a little more time on the complexion. You know, there's no fast way to make the makeup look really natural in five minutes if you don't have a flawless complexion to start with. So if you have acne, you have any acne marks or any discoloration, you need to take the time to even out the skin with the foundation concealer, that's the way I'm doing right now. The color, when you do for the eye and lips, it will be really fast. But this process, you have to take the time. There's no easy way. People ask me, they say, oh, I have acne. Can you show me how to do, to cover everything and do a makeup really quick in 10 minutes? You can't. If you can, if you do like a heavy foundation to cover right away, but that way the skin doesn't look like skin anymore. It looks like you wear a mask on the face. You see right now, the skin looks so beautiful and it's looked like her skin naturally just have that radiance still because I didn't cover everywhere on the face. I just only cover where I needed to. And I'm gonna do the rest of them. The same way I'm doing on the other side. But another trick that I say in many video, it's so important to find the concealer color almost the same at the foundation. That's the key. If you get the foundation darker than the concealer, the concealer too light, you will see all the little pinpoint dot that you created because it will look very fake. So the best way, just find a concealer shade, really the same shade of the foundation. I'm using two different brands, but most of the brand, when you buy the concealer, you can have the same shade, the foundation as well. And I do a little bit under the eye. Not too much because I want to leave some of her nap shadow underneath the eye there still. 
and this part here you see that i do really detail for you to hear so you, you can practice at home to have natural skin and also cover pimple at the same time And then another trick, you can go back to the foundation brush earlier and you just lightly press on top a little bit. This way you merge the shade of the foundation and conceal it together and the skin looks seamless. I'm doing the same on this side. There's no easy way to do it. You know, you just go one by one by one and you just use a pinpoint brush and this is more like a blending brush but have a point i think it's easier for me to use and that's what i'm using and you see i just do one by one and that's how i give my client flawless complexion not too heavy and able to cover everything and that's how you just do it you just do step by step when pinpoint acne or pimple like what i'm doing right now try to use a drier concealer like a concealer stick or even the laura mercier camouflage one i think it's a little drier i think that's easier to do pinpoint when you use a creamier a liquid concealer it's my run so easy so it doesn't cover as well even it's like a full coverage concealer I think it's always a drier concealer, always good what I'm doing right now. It's more pinpoint, it's always a better idea to use it. It's always a good idea to use a drier concealer. For powder, I'm going to use the Givenchy powder. Look out for me. Even though I'm doing a natural makeup look today, natural-ish, it's not too overly naturally but I still want to set it because I do a lot of pinpoint concealer and it's better to set the makeup and you see I just use the powder to set a little bit for all the area that I do all the pinpoint I'm showing you all these steps you don't have to do all the step like I do but all the area that I pinpoint you can use a very very natural and sheer powder like this and you just really set them all the acne just around here, not anywhere else. So that's where I'm gonna set them the most. And I just do pretty much just this area for now. So all those concealers set. And then a little bit there, maybe. And you just really set the skin there and leave everything natural and fresh. Next, I'm using some bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury just give Zavi a little more color and you see because you do all those pinpoint to cover the acne use the bronzer and instead just do a swipe in like this just gently press the product in the skin so this way you don't want to disturb anything that you work on earlier you see the way I do just very gentle that's how you want to create a flawless 
canvas without disturbing all the work that you did earlier to cover the acne. And a little bit on the nose. A little color all across. Zavi from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, I want her to keep that sun-kissed, glowy, but still like healthy, bronzy skin that we're trying to create. Even all these here, you still can have that complexion. You just need to take a little more time on the process. But you can see her skin look beautiful and she have that sun kiss. Just from the product we use in the application. For eyebrow, I'm going to use three products from the Brow Trio. I'm using the Brow Pen, the Brow Pencil, and then the Brow Gel. The first product I'm using the Brow Pencil Zavi have beautiful eyebrow. You can just leave like this. But again, I always show you how to enhance it even more if you want to. So it's just a different way to approach. If you want more perfected, more enhanced, it's up to you. So you see that she have a little gap there. I just do a little bit. The color I'm using is called taupe. Not too dark, pretty light. And then I filled in a little bit on this area. And even just like that, you gel them, it's done. And then I use the brow pen. I just give her a few more individual hair just fill them up a little more so i purposely make the eyebrow pretty full because you know i want to give her that kind of brook shield as a teenager you know it's pretty full brow and you see her eyebrow beautiful naturally but this is just another version that you can try you know someone who have more fuller brow that still looks somewhat natural doesn't look painted on so you just use the marker just create a few individual hair on top of the pencil i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm going to use a brow gel to set it this is a clear one so just keep the eyebrow in place for eye, I'm going to use only two products. I'm using mascara and the long wear cream eyeshadow. To start with this look, look down for me. I'm gonna curl the lashes first. And for this look, I'm gonna do the mascara first because it's just one eyeshadow and sometimes it's nice to do this first. You do the long wear eyeshadow after. The eyeshadow I'm using is pretty long wear and it's set pretty fast. It is great for people who have little hooded eye because it doesn't smudge anywhere at all when it's set. This is a great mascara that gives you a little volume and it's still separated. It's not too heavy, which is great for someone that don't want that clumpy, over volumizing look. So this is a good choice of mascara for you if you want to look for something more unnatural lashes like this. For this long wear cream shadow, they have a little sheen in there, like a little metallic. You can use your finger, you can use directly. I'm going to use it with the brush. Remember, it's set pretty fast, which is like I said earlier, it's great for someone who have a little hooded eye or someone who want to wear that cream shadow but doesn't like how it's creasing all the time. So this would be a great one for you. I believe they have all the shades as well, but this is the only shade I have. And I love how it is, how natural it is. And then, you know, you just apply a little bit like that. And you see, that's why I did just one color I put all over, I just go a little light-handed on top so it starts faded out because you see that when she look up, her eye is a little hooded, you don't see the eyeshadow much. Just close your eye again. You can go a little bit higher right here. A little more. 
remember this cream shadow it look like the reflective it look a little glossy it's gorgeous but this is long wear it's not smudge anywhere at all so don't think that because of the texture like this it's gonna smudge it doesn't and then I use the same brush but I use the pointy one I do a tiny bit along the lower lash line just to define the eye shape a little more so it's just one color I put all around the eye So you see that I only use two products, just one eyeshadow, one mascara, you create an eye look. I think anyone can achieve this eye makeup. So you can't just say this is too complicated. I just do one color all over and blend it out and look up for me in just a little long lash line. I did the mascara first so it doesn't get messed up, but you can do that the same way. You know, that's simple, easy. The next product I'm using is a cream blush from Cures Wise, I think I say it's right, hopefully. They have my name engraved in there, very sweet. And I use the, a brush to apply for this one. And I put a little bit first here, first here, and then you blend it out. Just very fresh. Even though I set the foundation earlier, but because the powder and everything I used was very light, so you're still able to apply the cream blush on top of that. And again, I don't want to do a swiping motion. I just do patting motion. That way it doesn't disturb all the foundation concealer you use earlier as well. And I do a little bit on the tip of the nose, just a little color. Like sun kiss. So this is the illusion you keep more fresh face even you have pretty a lot of coverage everywhere else and I use everything cream, cream shadow, cream blush and then cream highlighter I'm using next so you see everything cream texture just keep that freshness. The product I'm using next is the balm essence shield from Chanel. This is like a new shade they have. It's more like a highlighter, balmy. You can use for eye, lip, and cheek, any way you want. I use this a highlighter. I'm gonna use my finger in just a little bit. And this is just beautiful color. It's give you that rosy highlight. It's not just too white looking. There's a lot of life to the blush. In the same color, look at this way, your eye this way. And I put a little bit right there, just a little dot there as well. Do the same on this side. The next step I'm doing is I'm doing the lips. I'm going to use a lip shine from Sisley. This color is called Sheer petal and I think it's like Zavi lips color almost like a little bit enhanced but almost like her natural lip color which is the whole purpose I'm trying to do and the lip liner this is more an invisible lip liner from Barreto so sometimes the lip is really full like this and you want to do a natural makeup look you don't want to line heavy on the lips liner and then you do a lip because it lose that natural looking already so i'm going to use a lip liner to prevent the lip from bleeding because a lot of shine from the lipstick so the invisible one you just basically do around the lips area and then you do the lipstick for the lips you see that color is so pretty. It's almost like her color. Slightly smile for me. And you can use a finger. You can use directly, it's up to you. You know, if you want more sheer, you just use a finger and just tap, tap, tap. You see that it's very soft and pretty color. 
which I think is just gorgeous. You don't really need to use lip liner if you don't want to, but if someone who concerned about the lip too shiny and you want to prevent the lip from bleeding, this is the best way. You see that invisible lip liner, you just go around the lip like this. It's the same thing as your lip liner without the color. To set the makeup, I'm using some setting spray from our class. Close your eye for me. That is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoy the look. We try to create a natural makeup, no makeup, makeup with makeup. It's hard to explain, but you got an idea. I hope you enjoy the look. Thank you, Zavi, so much for coming to the channel. She from Hawaii just arrived yesterday in New York and she filmed with us today. Thank you so much. And thank you, Jacob, for doing this beautiful effortless surfer hair. I think it's beautiful texture that he created with the curling iron and products. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you.